the Ruger LC9S Pro, let's check it out. One of the things I love about Ruger is they make really good quality firearms. A lot of times they're simple, but the prices are excellent. So it gives you a lot of confidence even when your budget is low. And that's one of the things about the LC9S, the EC9S, and the LC9 Pro that we have today. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at this small little single stack 9mm pistol, perfect for concealed carry, also for home defense. And again, if you're on a budget, this makes a great option. Instead of the hammer fired internal hammer that they had before, which made a really long and heavy trigger pull, the LC9S is a striker fire pistol. And even though the trigger's long, it's very smooth. Now it was funny, but I was having trouble finding one of the LC9S Pros. So I got on gunbroker.com and I found one. It was $275 plus shipping uh, and it was at Nichols Outfitters uh, and those guys are down in Alabama right outside of Birmingham and uh, they were great in fact when I called them to make payment the guy realized that I was Such <laughs> and was really excited about it it was pretty cool but uh, I really thank those guys for doing a great job in getting this to me let's go ahead and make sure the gun is unloaded we're gonna drop our seven plus one round magazine and the chamber is empty uh, one of the big things about this pistol is that it only comes with one magazine, which, you know, is, I just hate when they do that. I wish they would at least have two magazines, but thank goodness for Gun Mag Warehouse. <laughs> they sent me a few extra magazines. It made it much easier, you know, to get these mags in and out, uh, especially at the range and during a review. Now, one of the things I want to show you is that they have in the package a, just a small abbreviated base plate. Really easy to switch out, just press down with a punch and then this will slide right off and then you can put either magazine base on here. Uh, this is excellent for concealed carry but this gives you a little more for shooting at the range. Now it comes with a glass filled nylon frame uh, which is polymer but it really is smooth and well finished. Um, it's one of the things about the polymer on the Rugers, they're typically well done. The checkering, very tight, very aggressive as far as the feel but it's not rough on your hands um, now one of the things about this grip is how thin it is it is super super thin uh, almost too thin in fact to the point that I'm gonna get some talon grips to put on here to give it just a little bit of extra and you know for a concealed carry you know that's one thing to consider but one thing about talon grips they can be just a little tacky so you know you want to decide if that's what you want for concealed carry uh, it's still very shootable uh, and so, you know, it's just a very small, compact pistol. The little finger extension on the magazine base plate does give you that little bit of extra room when firing. Uh, we take it out and put in the flat base plate. And, you know, you're just hanging off a little. You can still get just a little bit of your pinky there. So um, I don't see that really as a problem. One thing I do like are their extended nine round base pads. And so, you know, you can go with nine rounds. It just hangs out a little bit more. I don't have one with me. The serrations are nice and they're grippy. Very easy to get. Of course, it doesn't have the front serrations. It does not have any kind of accessory rail. Uh, this is really for a concealed carry piece. It does have a slide stop and it will hold open on the last round. Uh, and then, of course, you can hit that slide stop to bring the slide home. It has a curved trigger guard. The lines on this handgun to me are very smooth. Uh, it's a very thin handgun. The barrel length is 3.12 inches or about three and a quarter inches. 
Uh, it is a steel uh, slide. It's hardened. Just has kind of a matte finish to it. You see the LC9S on here. Now this one again is the Pro. And there are a couple of things about the Pro that I really like. And to kind of show you a couple of the differences, I have one of the EC9S's. Now this is the economy model. Uh, it's the same exactly as the LC9S, but it has sights that are integral into the slide. They're actually milled into the slide, so you can't change these out. But it makes the gun less expensive. It is a nice three-dot sight on the Pro, and then here with the EC9, it's just a blacked out back and a front dot, which is still very effective. But having the ability to switch out your sights, you know, that's kind of a personal preference. Some guys love to change them out. Of course, obviously, if you want to put night sights on there. But what designates the Pro, and I'm going to show you first with the EC9. When we drop the magazine, make sure the gun is unloaded. It has a magazine disconnect, and that's one of the things I do not like. Uh, here, I can drop the magazine, of course, check the chamber. This does not have the magazine disconnect. Another feature with the Pro that I like is that it doesn't have the external frame safety like the LC9S and the EC9S. So that's pretty much the differences between the Pro and the standard LC9 and EC9S. And if you want to spend less, go with the EC9. Now, the EC9S, I bought this at Palmetto State. It was $249. Uh, and I think for the standard without the Cerakote, it was 239 So it's a very reasonable option. Now, I did a full review of the EC9S on GetZone.com. I'll have a link down below in the description. Just go into a lot of the details about this pistol. But that led me to purchase the LC9S Pro. Uh, I wanted to go up a step from just the regular LC9S, which is a great little gun. And that's one of the things about Ruger is the three guns are different. Each have their own. And, of course, the price goes up with the features. So it makes it a budget option. But yet, if you want these kind of features, uh, it's still, again, well under $300. A really great choice for someone that's on a budget. And yet, you get good Ruger quality. Uh, but one of the big things about the EC9S is the trigger. Uh, the trigger is really smooth. Here we have our trigger safety, so unless you're depressing that trigger safety, it's not going to fire. But here we have a fairly long take up. Right here we hit a wall. And then it's resistant up to the snap. So it's a little different than a lot of your striker fire pistols. We're going to check reset. And see the reset comes out pretty far as well. But the big plus for this trigger over the standard LC9 is that it's just a very smooth trigger. And that made a world of difference at the range. I had a little video on Instagram where I was shooting this slow motion very rapidly. And a couple of the guys commented that I was trigger slapping and that I needed to be a little bit more close to the trigger. But the problem is, is this is a long trigger. You have to let it all the way out for it to reset. And so that's a training thing. If you're going to carry this, you definitely need to train anyway. But that could be something if you're really used to shooting those really short reset striker fire pistols. We're going to check our trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. So just safety check the pistol. Four pounds, 15.9 ounces. Five pounds, 0.6 ounces. 4 pounds, 13.1 ounces. So right around, just under the 5 pound range. Now I want to do a couple of comparisons with some of the Ruger options. Uh, this is the LCP-2. Of course, they had the original LCP for years, which I really like that gun. But there are some improvements with the 2. You can see that it's definitely a little bit longer in the frame and in the slide. But probably one of the biggest differences is the width. Uh, with the 9mm, you have a little thicker slide. With the 380 on the LCP2, uh, it's really thin. Uh, in fact, a lot of times, if I really need to be discreet, this is one that I do carry. Then we have the Security 9, which is a lesser expensive option than their American series. It's really based a lot on the LCP2. Uh, it is an internal hammer-fired pistol. But the trigger is actually pretty good. My review of the Security 9 is an exclusive on GetZone.com. And guys, I really hope you support GetZone. It is a strong Second Amendment supporter. We do have 15 in one, but you can see 
uh, much thicker. Of course, the length is not too much with this extension, but you put the flat base pad on here and it'll really make it smaller. And then, of course, here at the end. Uh, but this is still a fairly compact size double stack 9 millimeter, very similar to the Glock 19. Then, of course, I would be remiss not to bring out the Glock 43. Uh, this is pretty much about the same size. Uh, the Glock 43 actually may be just a touch longer in the slide. But the LC9S is actually just a little bit longer even with the flat base plate. Pretty much the, the width of the base plate. But uh, two very comparable size pistols. And, um, you know, but the price is considerably different. It's six inches in length. It's four and a half inches in height with the flat base plate. But this gives you just a little bit of extra right here. And the weight on the LC9S Pro, one pound, 1.4 ounces. The weight on the LCP2, 10.8 ounces. The weight on the Glock 43, one pound, two ounces. I want to thank Fioki for sponsoring the ammo. Uh, great shooting stuff, all made right here in the USA. And also, a big thanks to Gun Mag Warehouse. They sent some extra magazines. Uh, I left the pinky rest on here just because they're a lot easier to shoot that way. But uh, those guys are great. If you need magazines, Gun Mag Warehouse. And when it comes to a small single stack 9mm, they tend to be somewhat snappy. It's just physics. They're small frame, they're usually thin, 9mm uh, power, lightweight. One of the things though about the Ruger LC9S and what I experienced with the EC9S is that they tend to be fairly flat shooting. It's just a really comfortable feel to it. The grip is very narrow but uh, you, you feel like you have some confidence on the grip. I do like the LC9S without the safety. Uh, you know, that way I don't have to even worry about it. It's a striker fire pistol, it's safe already, and then with the trigger shoot. But um, again, that trigger is fairly long. And so sometimes when you're shooting it, especially for accuracy, you know, you really have to concentrate. But the more that I shot this one, after shooting the LC9S, I was getting used to this trigger. So I'll tell you, uh, Ruger has really stepped up their game with the LC9S. And I think if you're looking for a really good striker fire pistol, this would be one to look at. All right, shooting them both. Do they shoot any differently? Nope, they shoot exactly the same. All right, were there any difference in shooting these two pistols? No, they shoot exactly the same. Dueling LC9 S's okay. with an EC9. <laughs> now to disassemble the firearm, drop our magazine, make sure the gun is unloaded. Uh, here is your takedown pin. We're gonna bring it in the down position, just click it down. Bring back the slide to where you can see the pin through the cut in the slide. And you'll take a punch, right here there's a little crescent, just push through. It's really easy to come out. Now we're gonna have to pull the trigger and then remove your slide, recoil spring and guide rod. It is dual captive and it is metal. And then we have our barrel, which is a Browning linkless design. Again, the barrel is three and a quarter inches. And that's all you need to do to field strip. Uh, as far as the internals, here you can see very smooth, very well finished. Uh, one of the things about this is a chassis area right here. It's a locking block, it's long. Good size rails. A lot of times on many of your new striker fire pistols, they have really small abbreviated rails front and back. And this has rails going all the way down. Uh, here we have our slide. Uh, you can see the striker mechanism. We also have a hammer block or striker block safety right here. Uh, there are a lot of safeties built into this pistol already. And if you choose to get the standard LC9S with the frame safety and the magazine disconnect, just add a couple of extra safeties, just according to what your preferences are. But that's all you need to do to field strip. It's pretty simple. We're going to return our barrel, recoil spring and guide rod. 
and then return it onto the slide. Line up the notch in the slide with your hole and just drop in your takedown pin. Make sure that it's all the way depressed. Sometimes this will hang up just a touch and I take a small little punch and pop it, but you've got to make sure it's flush and then just lift up this little lock to block in your pin. Test function and we're good to go. Now, as far as pros and cons of the pistol, the Pro definitely covers some of the cons that I had with the standard EC9 and that being the magazine disconnect and also the frame safety. I really like this model for that. But a couple of the cons of the Pro is that the grip is super thin, uh, but you know, it's not unmanageable and when you're shooting at the range, it's not too bad, but I am gonna add Talon grips. Uh, not necessarily for the grip because this texturing is excellent, but it just gives me a little bit extra. Uh, the other con is it only comes with one magazine, which I really wish it at least came with two magazines. But I believe the magazines on Gun Mag Warehouse were like 22 bucks or something like that. They're not very expensive. I, again, I want to thank Gun Mag Warehouse for sending these extras. That really helps at the range. When you're, we're really doing a lot of reviewing, we shoot quite a bit of ammunition. And, um, you know, having those extra mags is a huge plus. Uh, but, you know, overall, the gun functioned flawlessly. We had a great time at the range. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely enjoyed the EC9 as well. And I recommend this if you're on a really tight budget. This is an excellent handgun. But if you want to go just a step above with some of these features, it's not really that much more. It's still a sub $300 pistol. And yet again, you've got the Ruger quality. And again, I want to thank Nichols Outfitters down in Alabama. Those guys are great. Uh, they have a lot of guns on Gun Broker, so check them out. And check out the exclusive EC9S video that we have on Get Zone. Get Zone's a really strong Second Amendment supporter, and we definitely need to keep those kind of social media outlets going. Oh yeah, baby. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. But this is definitely a much larger pistol. Uh, we do have... God bless America. <laughs> All right, do they shoot any differently? No, they shoot exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to put my acting on. No, the exactly okay. like. Yeah. Oh, they're exactly the same. I'm gonna say, can I say the word exactly? Yeah. Okay. No, they're exactly the same. Well, let me ask you first. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm ready. Woo! I just got a soft. Okay! Huh? I just got a soft. <laughs>